Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and get ready for another action-packed, stunt-filled episode of The Range Rider, starring Jock Mahoney and Dickie Jones. These two are just amazing horsemen, amazing stuntmen. They did all their own stunts. They did all their own horse work. These guys are just simply amazing to watch. Appreciate you coming by here. Have fun watching this, and we'll see you after the show. could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider, with his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours, and Dick West, All-American Boy. Dandy hair slick. Range Rider, Howdy. go Padre. How are you? Well, I thought it was about time you were showing up. What have you been doing? The question is, what are you doing? You're all slicked up like a greased porcupine. Oh, wait till you see her. Carol Thatcher. She's just as pretty as a prairie sunset. Oh, a girl, huh? Yeah. Well, I figured it'd take something like this to make you put all this trouble. Yeah, but she's the belle of the town. Just got in four weeks ago. We've been going kind of steady. Oh, permanent, huh? Like all those other girls? Like Marilyn, and Gloria, and the other Gloria, and the little Comanche, and then there Oh, were... no, 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 no. That was all kid stuff. This is Carol. She's different from back east. Real sophisticated, like me. And real suave, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, I've got to get going. Up. i got to get up to the hotel. Can't keep Carol waiting. But you and I can have a little power first. Uh-huh, yeah. Now, how do you like your new job? Oh, swell. It's got lots of responsibilities. Except that there's a couple stagecoaches missing. You know about that? And all that gold bullion that they changed into gold coin, that started to disappear. Why didn't you let me know? Well, I was going to tell you. Only Carol thinks that I can solve it myself and, and get a big promotion. And, of course, if you want to help, too. Well, I could be your assistant. Yeah. That's a real swell idea. Why didn't I think of that? Come on, boss. We just keeping the young lady waiting. Yeah. Boss. That sounds real swell. After you. After you. Oh, yeah. Followed you, Crowder? Nothing to it. It'll be six hours before they even know this coach is missing. Say, I can get good money for a four up like this. Now, you can get the sheriff on our necks, too. Take him up the road and turn him loose like I told you. Yeah. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? She's beautiful, all right, Dick. Isn't she a little old for you? What do you call her, mother? I'm no kid anymore. I've been shaving for two years. Yeah, I know. One whisker at a time. 
Well, your tea will be getting cold. I'm going off to the sheriff's office. Oh, hello, Dick. Uh, who was your friend? Oh, him? My new assistant. I've got him working on the stagecoach trouble. <laughs> As if you needed any help. Well, I, I don't know. The sheriff's mighty puzzled. We'd be lucky if we ever find out what happened to those stagecoaches. Sheriff, a hold up. Another stage missing. I knew it. I felt it in my bones. It never showed up at Ten Mile Cross and happened just like the other one. It left here on schedule. Of course he did. Somebody's tipping them off, and I've got a dog eyed hunch who it is. Who? Stick West, that kid over at the stage office. He's the only one who knows that gold shipment goes through. No, he don't look like a stage robber to me. He doesn't, huh? No. He's been buying some mighty fancy presents for that gal over at the hotel. He has? And I've an idea that's where he is right now. It's about time I started asking him some questions. Come on, let's go. Well, I think you're going to be wrong on me. Do you know what day this is? <laughs> Why is it, uh... Something special? It sure is. It's our anniversary. We met four weeks ago today. Now, Dick, don't get any wild ideas about buying me more presents. I I'm gonna do it. Mm. In fact, I've already spoke to Mr. Crowder, the jewelry salesman. Oh, you haven't. He certainly has, Miss Thatcher. The young man has good taste, too. Uh, I, I hope you like it. Well, it must be payday again. Oh, it sure is. Let me try this catch here. Well, what do you think of it? Oh, it's beautiful. There he is. I was right. Hey, you, kid. I want to talk to you. What's all the excitement about, Sheriff? Another stagecoach missing, as if you didn't know. Me? How would I know? The whole thing's an inside job. There's information coming out of your office. There's got to be. They never stop the wrong stage. It's only the ones carrying the gold. Are you trying to say that I'd be mixed up in a shady deal like that? We'll soon find out. You got any gold pieces? Now, what's that got to do with it? Let's see them. Oh, just a minute. Mm hmm. New ones from the Oretown stamp mill. Cross pick and shovel, just like the ones that are always stolen. It's my salary. I just got paid. And another thing. I've had my eye on you, spending twice what you make buying this woman fancy bracelets. Well, I've got a better pair of bracelets for you. Put out your hand. What do you think you are, bulletproof? <laughs> of all the dirty, low-down, double-crossing tricks, my very best friend. That's why I stopped you. You're going to give yourself up. And what? Over my dead body. Oh, you're too young to die. Here he is, Sheriff. He's all yours. Trying to make a break for it, huh? Now I know you belong in jail. Well, he's tired of being outlaw. He wants to give himself up. <laughs> Thanks a lot, pal. Thanks a lot. I'd have got you anyhow, son. I haven't lost a prisoner since I put on this badge. Huh. Dangerous thing, getting caught with gold pieces like this. I know. But they're awful pretty. Aren't they? I don't know whether I ought to be talking to you or not. Well, relax. Play along, will you? Maybe we can find out what's happening in those stagecoaches. You mean you're not busting me out of here? Not just yet. I want to find out where those gold coins are coming from. I told you. It's my salary. It comes in on the stage. Maybe that's a tip-off that they're working on. Huh? What do you mean? Nobody knows when you get paid. Well, neither do I. Till it gets here. Well, somebody's got it figured out. You must buy something or pay some bills. Well, I did tell someone I was going to buy Carol a present. So, when you've got money, the stage is carrying gold. Yeah, but that still doesn't say... <laughs> Ordinary 
sneaking sidewinder. Trying to jailbreak, huh? Don't think the jury won't hear about this. It's just another link in the web of circumstantial evidence. like we're out of business, Carol, at least in this town. Always the pessimist, eh, Jim? Why shouldn't I be? The kid's in jail. What do we use now for information? <laughs> that's no problem. I just bail him out. Well, I doubt it, not with that stupid sheriff. He used to say I could twist any man around my little finger. It's too dangerous, Carol. We've had it lucky so far. We better move on and try another town. Not till we collect one last little shipment. Come on, get your horse. You can ride part way back to town with me. All right, you on your feet. Your lady friend's gone bail for you. Hello there. How do you do? Dick tells me you're helping him with the stagecoach trouble. <laughs> and I'm trying to help him out a little bit. Well, in that case, I think there's something you ought to know. I was riding this morning out past the old deserted sawtooth mine. But I didn't get near it. Someone took a shot at me. Wasn't that something you should tell a sheriff? Well, I, I thought you'd be more interested. In other words, what you want me to do is take a ride out to the old sawtooth mine and have a look around. Well, after all, Dick has been accused. I think the best way to clear him is to get the real outlaw. Maybe you're right. I'll be at the hotel. You uh, let me know if you find out anything. Well, I wouldn't keep you in the dark for anything in the world. Jim Crack hideout, all right. 
Forgot all about this old mine, the old sawtooth. I ought to hang my head for not thinking of it myself. But you will be careful, though, won't you, Sheriff? Careful's my middle name. Boys, go around back. There's another shaft back there. The rest of you take cover. Well, well, what are you doing here? I might ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Well, well I saw you talking to Carol, so I, I figured I'd better follow you. Hmm, jealous, huh? Not exactly. Well, you can relax. She just wanted to give me a tip. She was out this way, and somebody took a shot at her. Shooting at Carol? Now I know we've got to get him. Yes, sir, boss. See what they did, Dickie, is kill the driver, probably buried him someplace off the road. Passengers, too, if there were any. Yeah, but there were posses out. A stagecoach has to leave tracks. Well, not necessarily. In this case, they tied benches behind the stagecoach. That would block out all the tracks. Hey, we'd better tell the sheriff. This will put you in the clear. You know that, don't you? Yeah. We're the outlaws. Hey, Sheriff, come on down here, quick. I said reach, and I meant it. Get the range rider. The rock chip, Dick. You blinded me. You get inside, I'll handle this. I said stay down. That bullet just said the same thing. Stay here. and now I've got double the evidence. It's a mistake, Sheriff. Miss Thatcher sent me out here. You can ask. Save your alibi for your murder trial. Oh, it's a mistake, Dick. I know it is. Yeah, a big mistake. Blinded by a prairie sunset. All right, boys, let's go. Go ahead, Hackmore. Get their horses. Right. Up, oh. What's the matter? I, I turned my ankle. Give me my hand. Reach, Sheriff. Go get your horse, Dick. I'll get two horses. Get out there and turn around. If I can keep an eye on you. You fool. You're not helping him. Not this way. 20 years in office, and I've never seen the likes of this. Compounding a felony, holding a law officer at bay with his own gun. You'll hang for this, both of you. You'll hang if I have to track you to the end of the world.
What are you doing here? You know they're looking for you. You want them to put you back in jail? I can't leave you in there half blind. I'm all right now. It didn't last very long. Give me a handful of bullets, will you? What do you want them for? Don't ask questions. Just give me the bullets. Okay. You know where the cutoff is to Sky Canyon? Yeah. Can you meet me there in an hour? Okay. I just hope you know what you're doing here. Thanks. Uh, beat it and stay out of sight. Okay. The other one on the cell. Now. Thanks. You made it. Right. I've got a plan, Dickie, that might pay dividends. Do you have any more of those gold coins? Sure. I haven't had time to spend them all. Good. What we'll do is lay low for a couple days, and then we'll stop the first stagecoach that comes through. Hold up, Pete. Give me those gold pieces, Dick. Here you are, Pete. Well, what, what's this for? I want to set a trap for the outlaws. Take those gold pieces in town and spend them. Tell everybody you just got paid. Well, I'll be danged. This is the doggonest hold up I ever saw. Scare the wits out of a man, then, then force him to take gold. Let her roll. Most accommodating outlaws I ever saw. <laughs> 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 That guy cheated me. I bought five bottles. Okay, I'll take it. That ought to dazzle him. Even if it does cost me the rest of my pay. Thanks, driver. Those are right good looking new gold pieces you got there. Yeah, payday. Hi, Carol. Well, hello, Dick. Well, I thought you'd left the country. Oh, not me. I like the scenery around here. The scenery has sheriffs in it. Oh, well, we're taking care of that situation right now. We sent the stagecoach driver into town to spend a bunch of gold coins. That'll make those outlaws think there's a stagecoach worth robbing. I'm sorry, Dick. I have to leave right now. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Now, relax. Let's go. Let's go lame. Jim! Jim! Don't Jim in the trap! You keep out of this. All right, climb in the coach. You're going back to town. It's hard to see what happened to them other drivers. Carol, what, what, what happened? This little holdup team is going in town to talk to the sheriff. Oh, no, not Carol. Couldn't be. You can ride with me and watch that beautiful prairie sun. Okay, boss. Go,
really hope you enjoyed The Range Riders, starring Jock Mahoney and Dick Jones. And remember, it's brought to you free here on the internet by Wild West Toys. And you can shop with Wild West Toys at www.toyguntown.com. And if you're not already on the Westerns on the Web website, come on by and see us at westernsontheweb.com. Hundreds of free, family-friendly Western TV shows and movies. And also, I'd like to add this. Dick Jones is in this. Dick Jones was all over Hollywood back in the heyday of Hollywood. He was in movies with James Stewart, and with Errol Flynn, with Randolph Scott, John Wayne. Dick Jones was everywhere, all over the place when he was a boy in Hollywood. And he was a fantastic stuntman in this show you watch, a fantastic horseman. And Dick Jones is one of the nicest folks you'll ever meet. If he's ever at a festival that you have a way to go to, go and meet Dick Jones. It's worth the trip. Thanks again. I'm Bob Terry. Appreciate you joining us. We hope to see you get on down the trail. Y'all have a great day.